Hello everyone and welcome to Player. Now, we're having a look today at the Silverstone Kublai. Kublai? Kublai. It's the uh, KL05. Um, and this is the first case I'm reviewing for Player, so go easy on me, you know. Anyway, I'll give you a quick look at the box, we'll unbox it and uh, there will be a full a written review on the player website and once it's finished sorry Gavin I will pop a link underneath so you can click and have a look at it so Silverstone are banging on all over this about how easy this is for liquid cooling and it does state we've got a big cut out here we can get a 240 or a 280 on top you can get a 120 or a 140 in there as well tall as drive base um, the box is pretty much standard to be honest. I am going to spin it around though Because what I think is nice that Silverstone have done they've, they've written a full a full description on the side um, With every single thing you need to know so if like like me you really want to get a good look and a good understanding of the cases before you buy them Brilliant we do like that and on this side. It's just a picture of it. So Hang around, let's get this unboxed, and uh, we'll have a look at the outside and the inside. This is what's inside the box. It was very well packaged. The uh, standard big lumps of um, polystyrene are always fun to get rid of. Anyway, from the front, we have a rather nice... It's plastic, but it's a rather nice front panel. Um, and we have two drive bays here. One will be for a optical drive, the other for a DVD drive or a fan controller or whatever you want to pop in there. Now, I think this probably opens somehow, but it does not tell me how. So, or maybe it does not open. See, this is the thing about doing these type of reviews because it's the first time I've been in here. So what we'll do, we'll ignore it, we'll have a look at the things on the front. We have a reset button, we have two USB 3s, we have headphone and we have microphone. And then we have your power button and a hard drive indicator. Now this is the non-windowed version as you can see, so both panels are very black and very, very clean. Now everything's held in with thumb screws. These thumb screws stay in place so that you don't lose them when you drop them that. We've got a couple of grommets on the back here for uh, external water cooling if you want to. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight expansion slots for your GPUs or sound cards, etc. etc. Now they don't screw, there are the, the pop-out ones. But then again, it's a budget orientated case, so you know it's what you expect. And then onto this side, again, a lovely big black panel. So I am interested. I am interested actually. Oh these ones come out. <gasps> Sorry, I flipped. I'm interested just to see what's in here. Slidey top. Now, slidey top, you could get a big old radiator on there, fans. We like that. We do like that. And it does add a few inches to the height of the case as well. But I'm not gonna totally I'm not gonna totally strip the case down. This is just a quick look at unboxing. So I'll tell you what, let's pop these side panels off. And we'll have a look at where all your bits and bobs are going to go. So, looking inside, big cut out here for a uh, CPU called a backplate. There's the two drives I said about, and they are tallest as well, they're these click ones. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, sleds for your uh, threes or your two and a half hard drives in there. Um, they're tallest and they do feel quite sturdy but we will do a build and we'll see how good they are. <clears throat> this is one thing I'm not a fan of is cables not being sleeved black because they got all this all this effort you know, it's all black inside and really nice and then you get the uh, multicolour cables of course it doesn't take away from the uh, from the functionality of it it's just if you know like me you're a bit anal about things looking nice once it's wired in don't want to see white and yellow I want to see black and that's it. Um, so we have the USB 3, um, front panel audio and all the rest of the connections tucked in there. There is a small bag of instructions if you feel you need them. Um, and I will probably have a look to see how to get the front panel off. 
Um, there are all, all your motherboard screws in here as well. Uh, standoffs are in there and some tie racks, which is nice because there aren't any motherboard uh, standoffs in place. So, right, pop this side off. Now, if you can indeed hear anything in the background, we have a very young child here. And, um, She's in the kitchen baking with her mum. Well, she's in the kitchen watching her mum bake. Uh, anyway, these panels I need to tell you about are both lined with this soundproof material. This is the back panel. The front panel is the same. Now, of course, if you go for the windowed option, you do lose out on soundproofing on the front. But they are sturdy. Sturdy enough, anyway. Once they're in place, they're in place. And they do screw in really easily. Um, so, from the back, we've got two, two and a half inch uh, sleds for your uh, SSDs if you want to pop them in there. Um, various cables, now this is for the front fan. Just going to have a quick look at the clearance as well, because it's not huge. About 15 mil, 15 mil clearance from your, for your, from your power supply and your cables, but there are lots of cutouts. Um, and if, if you were keeping the rig quite simple, that would not be an issue at all. And up the top, up the top, it's almost the same, slightly, slightly bigger. So, graphics cards. If you want to take these out, these screws here, you can take these sleds out, and there's screws on the back as well. That means with them in place, you can fit graphics cards of about 280 mil, just just on 280 mil, which is a decent length, um, decent length for cards. With these taken out, you can in fact get well 40, and there's nothing uh, that's that long, is there? Even the um, R9 250x time two thing with jigger is is um, bigger than that. Um, so radiator wise, we know we can get a 140. Or we can get a 140, a 120, a uh, 240, or a 280 in the top. You can pop these out as well, and you'll be able to get another 120, or I believe a 140. Be careful. You can get a 240 in there, uh, you can get a 280 in there as well. So 240 and 280 in the front. Um, I think as well, if you pop this out, depending on the length of your power supply, you can even split a full, uh, fit a small bad in the bottom. Now, here you can get a 120 on the back. It is a nice layout, and it's a really, um, it's a really simple case. It looks like it's going to be good fun to build in. I'm going to sign this off because, like I say, it's just the unboxing. Um, I will get the link down below. Uh, in the next couple of days with the review on it as well. So uh, thank you very much for watching um, Player. This has been Ren, and I'll see you all very, very soon.